Today, I'm gonna to tell you guys why the security side of IT is something that you should really be keeping on your radar. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and today I really wanna focus on security. Whether it's something that you really wanna focus on in your career or not, you need to have the fundamentals of what a proper security protocol looks like. And that proper security protocol might change from business to business, but there are core concepts that you should keep in mind and be aware of. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go over you know, the core concepts. I just wanna make you guys aware of the importance of security. So whether you go out and study for your security plus, or you're looking at like the CEH um, certification, you wanna be a pen tester, maybe you're just a system administrator or a network administrator, maybe your help desk, it really does not matter. Having the fundamentals of what proper security looks like in an environment is very, very important. Changing your passwords, not giving you know end users administrative access, making sure that your network is properly configured, you know, checking on your firewalls and making sure that those are properly configured as well. You know, there's a lot involved here that you know you need to be aware of. You know, networking side, monitoring ports, and like I said, the firewalls and things like that. System admin side, you know, monitoring group policy, Active Directory, um, you know, user you know, like logon attempts and things like that. You know, those are just a, a few things that I'm, I'm quickly mentioning, but of course you guys can look in more and I'll do another video where we'll talk more about this and dive deeper into it. But getting you guys to understand why security is important nowadays is huge. And if you don't understand why it's so huge, you can literally just go onto CNN or NBC, whatever the case may be for you guys, and look into, you know, the recent hacks that have happened, you know, the recent malware attacks that have happened, all the different compromises that happen on a daily basis. You know, you may think that you are doing everything properly, but I guarantee somebody's gonna come along and say, you're doing this wrong and you're doing that wrong. If, and that's the case if you aren't you know, very immersed into the security side of this industry. You guys need to go out, look into, you know, look into the security plus, start there, because that's a great place to start. Have some of this fundamental knowledge, you know, look into, you know, why some of these breaches have happened and, and why some of these companies have been hacked. You know, you're gonna find a lot of social engineering, of course. So on your end, teaching your end users about social engineering. You know, there's companies like Know Before that um, they allow you to put together uh, crafted emails that look like phishing attempts or different type of social engineering uh, concepts and you test your end users with that and that is really really important I did that at the hospital that I worked at I was in charge of that part of the program and you know we would put these these phishing emails together and we'd see how many people would click on the link and that's important that's important in a hospital environment because we don't want our data compromised right we don't want our patients um, data compromised either so Testing your users and knowing about phishing and getting them to understand, you know, what a phishing attempt looks like, learning, you know, having them learn how to check the different falsities of an email and what doesn't look right. That's extremely important. And like I said, company like No Before does it. And we had our click through rate down to about like 9% when I left there, which was great. I mean, out of like, you know, 13, 1400 users have a 9% click rate, that's pretty good. You know, obviously you're not gonna get everybody all the time because some of these social engineering attempts are really, really good and they're getting better as the day, you know, as, as every day goes on. But teaching your end users that, teaching yourself that and understanding is really important. I was just reading a thread the other day on Reddit where they were talking about, you know, no before and they were talking about um, how this was an IT person, I think he was a sysadmin, and he, they have a separate security team, right? Now, it's, they're all kind of together, but the security team is separate, and the security team would actually send out the phishing emails. And the sysadmin said that they crafted this email so well that he clicked on the link. This is a sysadmin. So the email looked like it was coming from the HR department and it said something in the lines of, you know, you, you have these many days off or you're taking these many days off, something along those lines. And this guy, this sysadmin was actually taking a vacation. So there was a coincidence there involved. So he probably didn't think much of it, but there was some, you know, anomalies within that email that he discovered later on after he had clicked on the link and got in trouble for it, of course. But it could happen to anybody. And that's the point, you know? 
it can happen to anybody. And you can't always prevent it 100% of the time, but if you can at least learn yourself how to spot these things, learn more about security, teach your end users about security, it's gonna greatly help you along your path in this career right now because security is only going to get, keep getting more and more and more and more important. So I hope this video helps you guys into giving you a little bit more insight on why I think it's important. And this wasn't exactly put together the best and we're gonna do more videos on this because it is so important. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for other people that they should be looking into within the security side of the field, please leave a comment below because I would love to hear from you guys. As always, Take it easy.